Anne persuaded the king to evict the Sussexes from the Crown lands forever after Meg begged Kensington apartment. British royal family news reveals that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are eyeing a return to the UK for one very outrageous reason. Here is the shocking reason why Meghan believes the couple need to have a home base in London. A source told OK Magazine that Meghan has a scheme. She thinks they'll still be living in Los Angeles eight months a year and can rent a massive Kensington Palace apartment the rest of the time. She believes that it could help them repair their marriage. OK claims that the source maintains that the couple have been conversing about a UK return, adding that they're going through one of the toughest times of their lives. And that's saying a lot, considering what they've been through already. California just isn't cutting it for them and their financial situation has become dire. However, Harry and Meghan are famously estranged from his family and apparently the clown Prince has had little to no contact with his father King Charles, nor his brother Prince William. Meghan and Harry have trashed the royals numerous times in print and in public and across multiple platforms. The source admits that King Charles loves Harry and his grandchildren, but he can't let Harry and Meghan back. The ban on Harry and Meghan's access to the Crown's lands was reported to be in consultation with Princess Anne. According to a new book by Omid Scobie, he claims Princess Anne was the chief architect of the decision to evict Harry and Meghan from the Windsor home. Omid Scobie criticised the Princess Royal because she persuaded the King to evict the Duke and Duchess of Sussex from Frogmore Cottage. However, many royal fans and experts said that Princess Anne's move is completely right. There should be no tolerance for traitors and there should be punishment for them, especially when they no longer work for the royal family. Princess Anne is living up to a reputation for a dedication to her family and country, but the late Queen Elizabeth's only daughter has also become known for saying exactly what she thinks, and when it comes to Meghan Markle, Anne didn't hold back. As Meghan Markle walked solemnly down the wedding aisle to tie the knot with Prince Harry, Princess Anne analysed the situation. And amid that life-changing year of 2018 for Meghan and Harry, Anne predicted that Meghan wouldn't last long as a working member of the royal family. Famed as a strong woman who doesn't tolerate nonsense, the only daughter of the late Queen became suspicious about Meghan's longevity amid her wedding. And Anne predicted that Harry's new wife would experience a short shelf life as a working member of the British royal family. But it took just two years for Princess Anne's prediction to be proven true. Because in 2020, Meghan and her 39-year-old husband stepped down as senior members of the royal family, and they fled to the safe seclusion of an upscale California town, Montecito. While Meghan sets up paparazzi opportunities and publicises her every move, Anne views her royal work as an important job. As a result, Anne set guidelines seeking to advise Meghan. However, a royal insider noted that the Duchess of Sussex didn't mesh with Anne, as a result, the princess believed that Meghan wouldn't last long. Moreover, the Princess Royal and Prince Philip also saw through Meghan's nature, since she visited Kensington Palace before marrying Harry. Now, Harry and Meghan only want to get back in so they can harvest more information to weaponise against the family. We've already heard intimate details about the day Queen Elizabeth II died, one of the most sensitive and sacred days in royal history, and it's barely been a year. What Harry and Meghan have done is unforgivable. No one will forgive and forget these two grifters' grotesque lies and drama. Meghan Markle was trying to step in to sabotage the monarchy.